Alright guys, how's it going? So this is continuing on with the modelling series tutorials. And today I'm going to look at the inset tool. Now there's several different methods we can actually use. The first method being, we can use the icon on the left and set faces. We can come up to face and set faces is here. Or we can use the keyboard shortcut which is I. Now Blender has this mythology, if the word starts with an I, generally the keyboard shortcut will replicate this. Now one thing I recommend is, generally don't start in the middle of the polygon, so if I press I, check out the line, I don't get much control and actually reverts back on itself. So what I recommend you do is you start slightly further out, so over here for example and I press I, you'll see that I have way more control. So that's one tip. So I can inset it in. And if I want to control the depth, I press control key and I can do something like this. So I've dropped the tool and we can take a little look at the properties. Now boundary determines whether open edges will be inset or not. Offset even, it scales the offset given a more even thickness and generally you'll have this enabled. Offset relative, it will scale the offset by the length of the surrounding geometry. And edge rail, I generally don't use this to be honest. The vertices that are created slide along the original edge of the inner geometry instead of the normals. Thickness, we already know, we can control the thickness here. So if I put the value to zero, we actually get something very similar to an extrude. So let me just put the thickness down a little bit, and let me change the depth. And that's pretty much how you use inset. So let me spin the mystery default cube, Ooh. and let me quickly select these four polygons, I'll press I on the keyboard and I'll inset these in. So what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to show you the select outer option. And hopefully you've got a good idea what it's going to do. It's going to select the outer polygons. Now what I can do is I can actually inset these in again. Press control to do the depth. And we get something like this. And I'll spin the default cube of mystery and I'll show you individual faces. So let's say we select these four faces and I do an inset. You'll notice that it keeps the polygons all together. So I can press control, do the depth. So what happens if I enable individual? So I'll spin the default cube of mystery, and I'll select these four. I'll press I for inset, I'll inset them, and you can see here at the top, individual I off. So if I press I on the keyboard again, it'll actually do it islands. And that's really good if you want to do something like windows. So you can keep building upon this, so do something like this. And that's the very basics of the inset tool. And it's one of these tools you'll use quite a lot, to be honest. And it's good if you're wanting maybe just do an extrude, something like this. So do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter because I've got no mates. You know what to do. Peace.